Sergeant John McLeese, better known as Mac, was a British SAS soldier best known for his part in the Iranian embassy siege, codenamed Operation Nimrod in London in May 1980. McLeese was born in Stirling, Scotland in 1949. He grew up in Laurieston. In 1969, he joined the 59th Independent Commando Royal Engineers at the age of 20. In 1975, he was accepted into the SAS after passing the tough selection process and he moved to Hereford in the same year. He was assigned to B Squadron of the 22nd Regiment and served as a Lance Corporal. In April 1980, six armed men stormed the Iranian embassy in London's Princess Gate in South Kensington and took 26 people hostage. This included embassy staff, visitors trying to get a visa, and a police officer who was guarding the embassy. It turned out to be Iranian Arabs who were demanding sovereignty over the Khuzestan province in the western parts of Iran. They also demanded the release of a number of prisoners and safe passage for themselves out of the United Kingdom. These demands were denied by the British government and the siege began. Police negotiators managed to convince the gunmen to release five hostages in return for broadcasting of the demands on British television. On day six of the siege, the gunmen killed a hostage due to the lack of progress that was being made meeting their demands and they dumped the body out of the embassy doors. The special air service was then given the green light to prepare the operation to rescue the remaining hostages and deal with the gunmen in any way they seemed fit. McLeese was to lead blue team in the storming of the embassy. McLeese detonated a charge on the first floor window and was the first to enter the embassy. The BBC sound recorder Simeon Harris had to take cover in a room and was soon saved by McLeese and ordered across the balcony. All of this was unfolding at the front of the embassy and in full view of the world's media. After 17 minutes, the raid was over, with five gunmen killed and one hostage, who was an employee of the embassy, had been killed by one of the gunmen during the assault and two others had been injured during the assault. Only one gunman survived and was detained by the SAS and later sentenced to life imprisonment. He was granted parole in 2008. The raid on the Iranian embassy was considered a huge victory and shot the SAS along with MacLeese to fame due to the entire operation being caught live on television. The operation had a lasting effect on special operations and counter-terrorism, providing valuable lessons that the special forces could use in future missions. MacLeese was a part of the SAS regiments sent to reclaim the Falcon Islands in 1982 from the Argentinians. McLeese was also involved in the Northern Ireland conflict. He was awarded the Military Medal for Gallantry while in action at the Lufgall ambush. The ambush took place on the 8th of May 1987 in the village of Lufgall, Northern Ireland. Eight men of the IRA launched an attack on the RUC base in the village. One of the men drove a digger with a bomb right through the fence, while the other seven men arrived in a van and began firing at the base. The bomb detonated and destroyed half of the building. The soldiers from the SAS returned fire from the base and also took up positions around the area in a planned ambush. All eight of the men were killed, however two of them had turned out to be unarmed. A civilian who drove into the ambush zone was also killed after a SAS soldier mistook him for an IRA fighter. For his part, McLeese was awarded the military medal. McLeese was also involved in the Drumnakelly ambush in August 1988. McLeese was also a bodyguard for three British Prime Ministers. On the 8th of February 1992, he was discharged after being promoted to Staff Sergeant. After McLeese left the military, he began working with the BBC as an advisor on programmes related to the Special Forces. He was also working in the private sector, working in Iraq and Afghanistan. McLeese also starred in the BBC series SAS Are You Tough Enough? In 2003, McLeese co-hosted the show SAS Survival Secrets. In 2007, McLeese was immortalised in the game Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare. The game's main character, Captain John Price is based on Sergeant John McLeese and even dons McLeese's famous moustache and has many other similarities to the man himself.
On the 26th of August 2011, at the age of 62, John McLeese sadly passed away of a heart attack. His family believed McLeese died of a broken heart after his son, Paul McLeese, of the 2nd Battalion, was killed in Afghanistan by a roadside bomb while he was on patrol in Helmand Province. McLeese's funeral took place at Hereford Cathedral. He was survived by his wife and his three remaining children. A memorial dedicated to Staff Sergeant McLeese in his hometown of Laurieston was unveiled in front of a crowd in 2021, marking the 10th anniversary of his death. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe to the channel and keep a lookout for my three part Falcons War series coming in the near future. This has been Paul from Hidden History, and goodbye.